Hello, all of my beautiful angel seekers in Christ. It is your girl. I'm unique and I am back with another video. So I know you guys have been waiting and I'm here to finally give it to you. We are going to be covering the Lux Curves Perfect Curves Waist Trainer. And this is the update. So if you're ready, stay tuned. If you haven't seen my last video, you should go and check that out. I'm not going to say my last video, but my last video about the uh, Perfect Curves perfect curves Waist Trainer. That's so hard to say. Um, so I wrote me down some notes to kind of give you guys um, answers to some of the things that you may have been wondering about the um, Waist Trainer. So, um, let's see here. Uh, like I said, you need to go check that out if you haven't seen it. Uh, I'm trying on the waist trainer for the first time and it's a really good video for those of you who um may be wondering how it feels and such so um to cover the bases i got a size 2xl medium torso which was 11.5 inches and i also purchased the two extenders and my previous weight was like 255 and the current weight is 220 and I was able to um, cinch all the way down to one of the extenders. So I removed one um, extender completely. Um, now, this is a disclaimer, guys. It's not because of the waist strainer that I was able to cinch down. I want to, like I said, I believe in 100% honesty. And I don't want you feeling like this thing is going to chop your body in half um because that is not uh the purpose it is to shape you to form you into the way that you want your body to look it's kind of like a molding process okay so like the longer you wear it the more it gets your body able to um distribute fat in the where in the areas that you would prefer it to be so i don't want you thinking that i lost a lot of weight from that because it's not if you want to know why i lost why i lost so much weight let me know in the comments and I will be back with another video, but I don't want to make videos about things that you guys are uninterested in. So that's why I'm careful with, you know, the subjects. It's just the Lux Curves, Perfect Curves Waist Trainer is um, the main place that I get responses from you guys. And I want to make sure that I do give you what you're looking for. So um, enough rambling because I know I've been rambling. So I'm going to cover a pros and cons type thing. Um, pros. I absolutely love the design. I mean, I got my air on, so excuse me. But the design of this is so pretty. It is just vibrant and colorful, and I love that about this waist trainer. I haven't really seen um, a lot of waist trainers that offer a pretty design, but I know it's not all about the design, so we're going to go ahead and move to the next pro. Um, the fit. I I like it, but I don't like it. So it's like a pro and a con, but I'll get to the cons after a while. But what I do like about the fit is it really snatches you. Like, that brings me to my next one. It is the best waist trainer that I have ever had. I know I have done um, a Shape X. I had did a waist trainer from them. And it was like about on your legs and stuff too. But that one just didn't work out for me. I can do a video on that if you want me to. But you have to let me know in the comments. Because otherwise I struggle with um, memory on my phone to record enough. And I know I be rambling a lot like I'm doing now. So I'm trying to stick to the script. But I love the way that it builds my confidence. Y'all when I put this dog on thing on baby. I be feeling like... <laughs> I'm one of the ones, you know, when you get to listening to, uh, what's her name? Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B with the long nails and the long hair. Like, I'll be feeling like I'm one of them and I'm just a regular person. But when I put that thing on, baby, you can't hardly tell me nothing. Like, it had you sitting up right and it is just great. Um, let's see. 
Uh, it holds more than any other waist trainer that I've tried. Like I mentioned, I have tried a few um, just regular waist trainers from Walmart. And it just doesn't give that hold um, like the Perfect Curves waist trainer. Um, the cost is pretty decent compared to others. Um, there are very expensive waist trainers out there. And I feel like this one is a, a pretty decent price for what you are getting. Like it looks great. And it snatches you, which is what you want. And it's comfortable um, to the point where, like, it's not sucking you in so tight that you feel like you got on one of them courses like that girl who had uh, fell off the boat on Pirates of the Caribbean. Me and my grandma be tripping out about that all the time. Like, can't be that girl. Um, let's see. The back support is amazing, which goes to the fit and um, how it feels. The back support. Guys, oh my gosh, I love the back support. I think that may be, aside from the snatching and boosting of the confidence, I feel like that is one of the best parts about it is the fact that it pulls and it holds you upright. So it corrects your bad posture. And I have bad posture from band. Whenever I was in band, I was trying too hard to be the one that sits upright and, um, you know, that military stance and stuff. So I had like a little sway, a little swaying arch in my back. And uh, that developed over time. But we're going to get over that. Um, durability. It is in great condition. As you can see, it is in great condition. The bones that's in there, I mean, it's not, no, not bones. It don't have bones. But these things in here, they are still holding up to this day, and I absolutely love it. Um, now we're gonna get to the the cons, and the first con that I have is that you have to wear it under, I mean, up over your clothes. So I be wanting it to get straight to the get down. I want to put this thing on and then just have a regular shirt over it and it like the waist trainer be on my skin. And I know that you're not supposed to do that because it can like uh, dig into your, your, your rib cage or like hurt your, um, your skin, irritate your skin after wearing it for a long period of time. I've never tried to wear it just uh, with the waist trainer to my skin because, you know, they don't recommend for you to do that. And I would like for them to be able to de design something that could go on your skin that could still snatch you. So, like, a material that would be good for that. I really I really don't know because the, the material, like, I probably would try it had they not not recommended it. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. But I put in parentheses that I believe that it's encouraged to wear something under every waist trainer like i don't think it's just perfect curves uh waist trainers like i think it's maybe any waist trainer that you purchase um let's see it doesn't get all of the belly okay and i know y'all probably don't know this but i got a lot of belly and maybe you could have seen it in my last video i got a lot of belly so um it doesn't cover all of it either it's uh, falling out at the bottom or it's overflowing at the top, you know? And so next time I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm going to order another one. And, and that's just the honest truth. I'm going to pay my money and I'm going to order me another perfect curves waist trainer. I am. I'm going to get the 13.5 next time and see if it'll give a better hold as far as cover me from the top all the way to the bottom. But it holds more than any other waist trainer I've tried. Like I said, I love this waist trainer because I've never went to a waist trainer and then went back and got another one. And I'm going to get me another one. And y'all going to know when I get me another one. <laughs> but um, as far as that goes, it's not really a lot of cons. I think that was my last one, really. But, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, if I didn't cover something that you may have been inquiring about, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. I answer everybody's comments and you know, I like to connect with y'all. The more y'all comment, the make, the more it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. And I'm actually getting you guys interest. I'm actually giving you guys answer to qu answers to questions that you need. I know I be rambling. I try not to, but that's just how I am now. Um, 
I don't wear this waist trainer every day. And actually, I've had to stop recently. And the reason why I don't wear my waist trainer anymore is because I'm pregnant. I just found out that I am pregnant. As of today, I am currently eight weeks, give or take. I haven't went to a doctor or anything yet. Um, I'm going to get an ultrasound this upcoming Monday, which is a, which is in about three days. Guys, wish me, I'll say send your prayers up for me because I went through some shaky stuff in the past. And that's why I slacked off on making videos and stuff. But I already talked about that. I'm not going to get into that on this. But, um, guys, if you made it this far in this video, please give it a thumbs up. I need your help. Okay? I need your help. And it would mean so much to me if you could do this to me. Do this for me. I'm in a super mom contest. And the super mom contest is basically a fundraiser raising money for the children's miracle network hospitals and i have the link in the description super mom jessica smith that's me if you could donate ten dollars twenty five dollars ten dollars is the minimum but you can also get free votes you go back every 24 hours and vote for me every day every day vote for me every 24 hours free vote free vote free vote guys that would help me so much it would help me so much. I'm currently fourth in my group. But fourth place doesn't matter. Fifth place doesn't matter. Third place doesn't matter. Second place. Mm. They are trying to narrow it, narrow it down to one person in every group. Y'all, I really want to win this. I really, really want to win this. Not only... um for myself because of course you know everybody gets something out of it if it's a fundraiser um what i would be winning is a weekend getaway at palm springs and um i would be in a magazine as the official cover of super mom yeah that's right super mom 2023 that's me um i really feel like i'm a super mom i have three beautiful amazing children that are growing up so fast and then of course i just found out i'm pregnant like that is <laughs> So I'm going to be doing a vlog on me um, in this whole pregnancy journey after six, seven, eight, six years of not being pregnant. Oh my gosh, like, and so much has changed from the last time I was a pregnant mama during the summer. But anyway, like I said, um, if you have a couple dollars to spare, why not donate it to a hospital that helps children? My second child... Um, was premature had to be airlifted and it was hospitals like these god blessed the hospitals to do the right things to help my baby get back on track so they are very important and it's near and dear to my heart because i've been there i have ha i have been in those little um little buildings where they help you get back and forth to the hospital every day and stuff so like guys this means a lot to me and you can't always depend on your family and friends. I have tried reaching out to my family and friends and a lot of them don't even answer. They don't even answer. And it hurts me because I have traveled hours at a time on multiple different occasions, weddings, graduations, baby showers. And I have devoted a lot of time and love. And the sad part is I'll still do it. I still travel over an, hour, over an hour and I still travel over an hour because I go to church out of state. So I'm always there and it shows me that I'm not only worth, t I'm, I'm not worth $10 <laughs> to get 10 votes from them. It, it shows me that I'm also not worth their time because you can also free vote. And all you got to do is click on the link, click a free vote every 24 hours so i'm not worth ten dollars and i'm not worth their time either and that really sunk into me because it shows that you just you, you never really know unless people get put to the test how helpful you know they are if you if you ask for it as long as everything is good with you they smile with you but then when you you know try to do something 
you don't necessarily get responses back. But anyway, we're not going to get on that. Um, I would appreciate you if you do. I try to give shout outs on my Facebook page to everybody that does try to support. Um, but I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. My word for the day is don't let yourself fall into a schedule that does not allow you to give thanks or praise to the one who allowed you to be a part of it in the first place. So I hope this uh, video was enjoyable for you. Um, I done already started collecting things for my baby, my little baby. And put fire and sewage. I don't know what I'm having, so I'm just getting a whole bunch of little random stuff. I'm going to be throwing myself a baby shower for the first time ever because I've never had one. And I feel like it would be a great addition. So you guys are going to be filled in on all that. But yeah, like I was saying before, I'm not going to hold you. I love you all so very, very much. And be blessed.